All right, so this video is just a quick update and a quick guide as of how to flash your external EOLARS module firmware from 2.0 to 3.0. To flash your external module, it should be fairly easy as generally your target is gonna be displayed right here. So the one we have is the ION 2 gigahertz. Let me make it brighter. 2 gigahertz for Nano TX. Okay, so what you're gonna to do to flash by Wi-Fi is you are just going to short press to enter the menu. Most of the external module that has an LCD screen should be able to do it like this. So you're just going to go to update via Wi-Fi and just gonna short press it. So it should start blinking and you should be able to connect via your computer to your Wi-Fi. So let's just go to the computer. Okay, so before we actually connect anything to Wi-Fi, we are going to go to the ExpressLS configurator again and you are going to select the release as 2.31 or you can select the newest one. I like to use the not so new release because I know it's gonna work. And then you are going to come down to the targets and I believe this is called the Aeon 2.4 gigahertz. Let's see. Do we have that target? This is a jumper. So it's jumper 2.4 gigahertz. And the device is Aeon Nano. And we are going to make sure we select TX. So this is the only option that has Nano and TX. And then you're gonna flash via Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna set up my binding phrase right here. So I will, it will be automatically bound to any of my drones. And then after we set up our binding phrase, we can just go come here and hit build. Essentially what we're doing right now is to build a new firmware. So when we are flashing it, flashing is essentially means that you are updating the firmware. So we're building a new firmware. So when you update the firmware, everything gets updated. So yeah, simple. Once the build has been complete, a separate window is gonna pop out and you're gonna use the one that actually sets Jumper Aeon Nano. And same drill, I'm just gonna save it to downloads for simple finding. And next, since we have already enabled our Wi-Fi on our external module and has been waiting for a while, then we can just go right now into the Wi-Fi section and you are just going to go come here and select ExpressLRS. And if you're asked for any password, the password is going to be ExpressLRS all lowercase. After you successfully connect, a separate web page is going to pop out. And this is actually the place that you are going to flash your firmware. So we can come down, you can see that the firmware is currently 2.5.1 and we want it to be 3.x. And you're just gonna scroll down, you're gonna see firmware update and you just choose file. Choose file and select the file and you are just going to hit update. And at the same time, we're also loading our binding phrase into the external module. So once it's loaded, as long as I power it on, it should automatically bind with any receiver that has the same binding phrase in the same version. Okay. All right, so update successful, which means our firmware has been flashed. And next, we can just power off the radio and power it on again, and it should start working. Let's just, let's just do a quick test. All right, we're just gonna come back to the bench and we are just gonna use the Syn Ape to do a quick test. Since both of my Syn Ape and my radio both have the same binding phrase, so once I power it up, they should automatically bind together. So let's just start power it on our radio and we are just gonna plug in a LiPo. Okay, you can see that the receiver is bounded by with a solid flash and let's flip the arm switch to see if the propeller spins. All right, so it has been bounded. Okay, so back to the bench, and this is just how you can flash your external module easily via Wi-Fi. And if you have additional questions, just let me know in the comment section, and I will see you next time. Bye.